Happy Friday, everybody. It's Emily here, and I wanted to hop on because I was thinking this week about a question I had asked recently to some folks on Instagram about what is the main thing that is holding you back, or one reason that's holding you back from achieving your health and fitness goals. And I got a lot of really awesome responses, but one thing that came up a little bit, and one thing that I've seen consistently come up when asking people, hey Ryan, about their health and fitness goals is that they don't have enough time to work out and to stay consistent with their workouts. I know that this is so common and I have this issue too myself. I'm strapped for time and it feels like I'm always strapped for time. So I can relate, hey Paul. But uh, what I wanted to kind of get into is why I think this is not a good reason to not achieve your health and fitness goals. 99% of the time I would argue that if you think you don't have enough time to exercise, it's not that you don't actually have the time. None of us have a lot of time. It's that you're not prioritizing exercise and you're not making it enough of a priority to really schedule it for yourself so that you have to do it. It's not important enough to you to really make it a priority. Now, you might argue something different and that's okay. We can have a conversation about that, but that's typically what I find to be the case. If you really go through your schedule with a fine tooth comb, you'll find that maybe there is even 15 minutes to exercise. Maybe it's an hour, maybe, you know, whatever it is. There are those times, those gaps in our schedule if we can really prioritize exercise. So here's what it looks like for me personally. Exercise is a meeting that I have with myself every day. And I'll tell you why I do that. But every single day I have a meeting with myself to exercise. And it is as important, if not more important, than any other meeting that I would have that day. So I have to, hey Brandon, I have to get to that meeting. That also means that I have to prepare for that meeting. If you had a real life you know, work meeting or a work presentation, you wouldn't go to bed and not set your alarm and just be like, well, we'll see what happens. I hope I get there on time. No, you would set an alarm and you would prepare yourself. You wouldn't hope that you had the right outfit that was ironed properly. Like you would prepare for that particular meeting. You would also probably not go out with friends the night before or just go out and see what happens, get home really late at night and not prepare. Hope, you know, we've all done that, but hopefully you don't do that on a regular basis. Hey, Adam. Um, so you would definitely put in the time and preparation to make exercise or make this meeting an event. And in this case, same goes for exercise. So here's what it would look like before the workout, I know exactly when I'm gonna do it. I put it in my calendar. If you need to block it off on your calendar, cool, go for it. The next thing on that list of being prepared for exercise is to have the right clothes and to make sure that they are within close reach to you whenever you're going to go and do that workout. It's really important because if we have those clothes in our view, ready to go, it's just one less barrier to getting into exercise. And then the last thing that I would do, so we had put it in the calendar or at least make a mental note that it's in the calendar. If you need to physically put it in there, do it. Have the clothes ready. Make sure that there's no barriers to actually getting out the door in the morning and clothes is a big part of that. And then the third thing is declaring that you are going to exercise to those who might impact or be impacted by your schedule. So what that might look like for you is if you have, you know, a family, they know that you are going to go exercise at this time on this day. For me, I don't have kids right now, so with my boyfriend, let's say, I might say to him, and I do this pretty frequently, like, hey babe, I need to work out in the morning, so I'm gonna wake up early, so if we're gonna go on a date, we've gotta do it you know, pretty early in the day, or in the night, um, so that we're not out too late. So those are my tips. Make sure that you are planning for exercise as though it was an important work meeting that you cannot miss for any reason. Now, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that I actually, hey Camila, I actually do plan for working out seven days a week. Typically, I don't work out seven days a week, but this is the strategy that I use because I know that one day something will come up or I won't feel like exercising or I'll just be too tired or just unexpected things happen. So I always over commit myself and that way I have a little bit of wiggle room for that one day when things just don't go right. 
that's my own personal strategy. If you're not quite there yet, where you know that you're gonna get in your workouts consistently, then I probably wouldn't give yourself that leeway. But for me personally, that's kind of where I'm at. So that's the tip that works for me. Okay, I hope that this was helpful. I would love to know what do you do to prioritize exercise and also to commit to it. Once you've made it a priority, how do you actually make it happen? Post your tips below so that we can all share and help out each other. All right, guys, have a wonderful Friday and I will talk to you soon. Bye.